In this problem, we have some numerical expressions like 17 minus 8 plus 4, and some of them have parentheses like this one, 17 minus parentheses 8 plus 4. And we're supposed to compute these, do the addition and the subtraction, and then compare them with greater than, less than, or equals. And I can tell you right now, they're not all going to be equals because there's a special rule about parentheses, and that is you do this stuff inside the parentheses first. Let me show you the difference on this first one. If I were to just do the left-hand side, I could take 17 and subtract 8 from it. 17 minus 8 would be 9, and then we'd have 9 plus 4, and 9 plus 4 is 13. So I get 13 over on this side. Here, I have to do what's in the parentheses first. 8 plus 4 is 12. Now, I have 17 minus 12. Well, that's 5. 13 and 5 are not equal. So those parentheses really make a difference. In this case, 13 is greater than 5, so we put in a greater than symbol. All right, let's try the next one. We have 13 minus parentheses, 6 plus 3. So I do what's in the parentheses first. 6 plus 3 is 9. So I have 13 minus 9. That gives me 4 over here. Let's see what we have here. We have 13 minus 6. So I can take um, 6 away from 13. That's 7. And then plus 3. So that's 10. We ended up with 4 over here, and we have 10 over here. So this is definitely less than. And then here we have 1 plus 7 in parentheses. So I do that first. That's 8 and 8 plus 11 is 19. And here I have 1 and in parentheses 7 plus 11. So I'll do the parentheses first. 7 plus 11 is 18 and 1 plus 18 is 19. Aha! Uh -huh. So that time they came out the same. So those are equals. And what was different about C? Can you see? In C it's all just addition, not addition and subtraction. And so in addition it doesn't really matter what you do first. When you mix them up, though, it does matter. So that's a little bit of work with comparing numerical expressions with parentheses.